how to create an Instagram business account. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be telling you how you can create your very own Instagram business account. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to open up Instagram and open it up, give it a couple of seconds, and you're going to want to sign up and create a new account. Click on create new account and here, just enter in your mobile number, right? And you can even sign up with email. It totally depends on you. So the whole process is going to be very simple. You can go ahead and sign up with a new email. So add your email address over here. Click on next. Give it a couple of seconds and then add the confirmation code that you might receive onto your email address. And then just simply click on next and now create a password for your new Instagram account. And once you have created the account, if you want to save the information, click on no. If not, click on not now and then send your birthday. So just type in your birthday hit the next button and now add in your username. So actually for first you have to enter in your full name. So enter that in and then click on next. And after that, we're going to go ahead and create our username. So username is available. We can go with this one and click on next and then click on. I agree. Wait for it to finalize. And once it's finalized, we can move on with the next part of the video. We're going to go ahead and create a business account. So again, you don't have to do this. I just wanted to create a new account because I wanted to, you know, go ahead and set everything up. So let's go ahead and set up our profile picture. So add a picture right here, select the picture that you want. And if you want to edit it, move it around, you know, move it around, then click on done. There we go. You can also share this picture as a post, but I don't want to. So then click on done. We now have a picture. If you're creating a business account, it's better to upload a picture that is related to your business. But I'm just giving this uploading this as an example. Now, once you've done that, click on next, you know, give it permissions, the application. You can do this entire process on your computer as well. But I just wanted to do it on the phone because it's much more simpler. But yeah, and then click on skip. I don't want to get suggestions from Facebook, so skip that. So here is your invite. I don't want to do that. Skip that. And once you've done that, you should be good to go. So you've now created your account. Let's go ahead and go into the settings section. Click on the hamburger menu and go into the settings. And once you're over here, we will see you have all these options. So this is your account, right? Also, make sure if you receive any Instagram, you know, notifications to verify your account. But we don't think that's possible as of yet because we already verified it. So we should be good to go. So now once you come over here into the settings, right, scroll down and you might find this option right here for professionals, account type and tools right here. You can see underneath for families, you know, just type in account type and tools. And here you can switch to a professional account or add a new professional account, right? This is where you switch to your business account. This is where you can create your Instagram business account. So click on switch to professional, skip all of this. So here you can see all of the tools, you know, get professional tools with a professional account. You can get access to tools like insights and followers and performance, learn about your followers. Uh, create ads and get new contact and option buttons and then click on next and then it's going to ask you what best describes you right basically suggest what type of business you are running if you're an artist a blogger clothing brand editor what is it right so let's go with a clothing brand click on next and you can display it onto your profile but i recommend not it depends on you if you want to but turn it on i'll show you how it looks like so for now We'll click on done. It takes up to 30 seconds to finish creating your professional account. So give it a couple of seconds to set everything up. And once you've done that, it's going to ask you, are you a business based on the category that you've selected? You might be a business. So if you are a business, click on this one. If you're a creator, click on this one. The upper one is best for retailers, local businesses, brands, and stuff like that. Then the bottom one is for better for creators, right? So we're going to select the upper option click on next then it's going to ask you to sign up for resources and offers i don't want to do that so i'll just turn that off and click on next and now it's going to ask you to review your information you have your email right here add your public number if you want to and you can display this information as well add your billing address instagram audio calling and everything once you've done that you should be good to go don't use my contact information i don't want to do that so i'll click on the bottom button but it totally depends on you whether you want to show your contact information or not then it's going to ask you to log into your Facebook account and connect it. I don't want to do that as of yet. So we'll skip that. And now we are good to go. So now we have to set up our professional account, AKA our business account. So there's eight steps. So completing our profile, getting inspired, getting the meta verified option, growing the audience, exploring tools and everything. 
So let's go ahead and complete our profile. So click over here. You can see this is our profile. We change the uh, profile photo, change the username and also pronouns, right? Click on the bio and add whatever options you want, you know, like a tagline for your business. So we'll just say stay original. I'll also change the profile picture as well. So let's go ahead and change the photo. So I'll upload the photo of my business. So change profile photo. You can either take it or remove the photo. I'll remove it for now, I think, because it's not giving me the option to change it. So now I can add the profile photo. So there are a couple of options. So there we go. I have now uploaded the profile photo. It's going to take a couple of seconds to load up. So give it a couple of seconds. There we go. And I'll also change my username as well to the username over here. Since we're a business, we don't need pronouns, so we'll leave it at that. And then you can here add links, right? Add a link to your bio, like to your website. So let's go ahead and add that as well. So the URL is racks.company.site. There we go. And the title is going to be racks. There we go. And click on add URL. All right. There we go. We now have our company URL or website URL within the our bio you can show the thread badge if you have one but i think this looks good and then click on the complete button and there you go one step is down so now we just get inspired by others so here we can go ahead and follow specific brands that you know are related to us so over here you can see they've given up some suggestions so you can follow them and get inspired but yeah i'll click on done read that right now and there you go then you have the verification method. So here, basically, you join the meta verified option waiting list. So, you know, get waiting list. And once you have, you know, qualified for their requirements, you are good to go. You can go ahead and get a verified button. And there you go. So I'll join the wait list. Click on done. And once that's done, we can go ahead and finish up our website. So growing our audience, basically here, invite your friends to follow you. Send the invite list to all the people set up and follow you. Introduce yourself. So here you basically create a post and showcase yourself. So I don't want to do that as of yet. So let's skip that. And then we have some other tools. These are the tools that you would need in order to grow your business, right? So you've got your insight tools, ads, activity status, basically show whether or not you're active, frequently asked questions. So set up FAQs as well. And there you go. Click on done. And then you have tell us your goals here. I want to increase reach. All right. And increase leads. Or actually, I want website visits, right? And reach. I think that looks good. And click on next. How would you like people to connect with you? Messages, calls, text, emails, and comments, all of the above. Click on done. There you go. And then learn how to add works and everything. But yeah, I think the other ones you can go ahead and set up everything yourself. You don't need me to show you, right? Then you're good to go. So after that, just simply upload photos of your businesses, of your products, run ads. And you should be good to go. You can see right here, you have professional dashboard where you can see all the tools like to add tools, content, brand shops, trending audios. If we click on trending audios, you can see all the trending audios in your city or in your country. Other helpful resources are going to be over here. You can see the insights, how many accounts you've reached, how many accounts you've engaged, total follower and content shares. And there you go. And then over here, since it's, you can see right here, it says clothing brand. I would have preferred to change my name but it's there and then you have your company website and then you click over here and then it'll take you to the company website but yeah it's not live as of yet i think i may have messed up so let me go ahead and edit that as well but yeah i think we should be good to go so company website it's actually not raka it's racks there we go so now if we click on the link it'll take us to the website that we have created so there we go. Now works. And this is how you can do it. This is how other people have done it. So this is how you do it. This is how you set up your business profile, or this is how you create a business account on Instagram. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.